Fathers, love everyone, and welcome to the Daily Devotional for August the 17th from Finders Keepers, Finders of Truth, Keepers of Faith. Today's quote, Many of us are hunting mice while lions devour the land. That's from Leonard Ravenhill. This one's entitled, Are you in the Lord's battlefield or in the devil's arcade? Too many are playing church today, seeking happiness, not holiness. They are lovers of self rather than lovers of God, idolizing creation rather than worshiping their creator. Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 15, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Most would rather follow, follow men's suggestions they're drafted into the Lord's army. Many have gone AWOL, away from the battlefield to play in the devil's arcade, giving and sacrificing to him their energy, time, and money. Only those who fight the good fight, who finish the course and keep the faith, will wear the crown of righteousness and obtain the inheritance reserved for them which is imperishable and undefiled and will not fade away the salvation of their souls. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8 Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 4 and 9 to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. The devil often sets up his arcade in religious establishments we call churches, and he's not partial to any denomination. Even Catholics don't have a monopoly or spiritual depravity. It falls on Protestants as well. Spirit, spiritual depravity and deception is coddled by popes, as it is by Protestant proud priests, by some Pentecostals as well as by some Evangelicals, by followers of all denominations and followers of no denominations. The devil does not discriminate. He obliges all who open their minds to believe his teachings, all who extend their arms to embrace his world, and all who compromise their temples to accommodate and worship his demons. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 14 and 20. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, Flee from idolatry. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. It's a narrow path, brothers and sisters. I hope you're on the battlefield of our Father and not just playing in the devil's arcade. So easy to get led astray nowadays with the doctrines of demons and men. I pray that you stay strong and you fight the good fight till the end. Don't forget to pray for the children and our fellow brothers and sisters all around the world. And those still lost in this darkness, shoving quarters into the devil's arcade, that they too can put on the full armor of God and join us on the battlefield. May our Father bless you, keep you. May he be gracious unto you 
and give you peace. I'll see you next time.